CCA has been fortunate to build long-standing relationships with lots of clients. So typically what happens is they get us out on site a couple of times, they see what we do, they see how easy our equipment is to bring in, set up and get the job done. They don't have to worry about it. It's not another thing that they really have to manage. It does what it needs to do. If they're working in areas with lots of landowners and the general public are very visible. There's something about seeing a huge flare stack with a flame and potential black smoke that starts to create mistrust between landowners and oil field operations. So bringing a TCI incinerator, you eliminate those factors. You see no flame, you see no smoke, and get a really, really high efficiency combustion that the general public doesn't always even know that you're there. And I think that's just um, a further tool for oil field operations to continue to build strong relationships in the areas they operate. So we brought to site four TCI dual stack trailers that are used to efficiently combust the gas in an effort to reduce their methane emissions. We brought four because the client has a tight window to get their construction completed. The gas comes into each unit on the manifold and pre-mixes with the gas and air and is naturally drafted to do complete combustion. My dad was the one that started the company. He had worked in oil field service and seen other incineration technology on site. While that technology was great at combustion, it was uh, challenging for the operations teams. The equipment was hard to handle and couldn't handle any sort of liquids or carryover or anything having to do with that. So he sought out to design a, a different stack. So he used a stainless steel stack design, which naturally draws in the air. The stainless steel is great because it's durable on site and doesn't need a ton of maintenance and is easy to clean. So we went with that stack design and started the company and went from there. The reason why we have four today, and it varies from job to job, is depending on how fast we want to blow down a pipeline and the size of the pipeline and the length of it. Some jobs, whether it's a six inch line that's a couple hundred meters, will pull in with a small unit, blow it down in an hour, a couple hours, all the way up to a large line like this one, 36 inch. I think it's 20 kilometers long. So this one's gonna take a little bit longer. I think we got 18 hours of burn time with this. The units are really designed to be simple. Uh, all the engineering is done up front so that when it comes to operating the unit in the field, they're very easy to use. So a TCI tech will just continually walk around and monitor their unit, usually every 30 minutes making sure that the pressure is maintained, the flame is well kept within the stack, and that they're getting a consistent burn. We do not need power for equipment that has a TCI personnel manning the unit. We just use a car or truck battery to stand the stacks and propane to light our ignition. One of our key things is we'll bring it out, we'll set it up, and we'll train your team to operate it, and they can run the equipment, and it's meant to be simple for them to use. I think a lot of people that when you're when I'm talking about our technology or when they first hear about us at a trade show or meet them in meetings and that sort of stuff and explain what we do and the benefits we add and particularly with the no flame, the no odor, uh, the no black smoke and you know, complete a 99% combustion efficiency, they wonder why everyone isn't using them. So I think as the industry grows and more and more emphasis is placed on emission reductions and building strong relationships with landowners in and around where our clients are working. Combustion is a huge part of that. And traditional flare stacks, um, everyone knows what they look like. The, the flame happens at the tip. While effective, they are not always as efficient as our technology can be. Our combustion happens internally, so not subjected to any of the external factors, notably wind. So we do get a 99.9% .9 combustion efficiency versus the flare stack. And I think it's an important component of the overall picture. 
And I think that's just a further tool for oil field operations to continue to build strong relationships in the areas they operate.